Okay, so in this video, I'll be covering the Bronster Lowry theory of acids and bases. So, according to the Bronster Lowry theory of acids and bases, an acid is a substance which donates H plus ions when dissolved in any solvent, and a base is a substance which accepts. H plus ions when dissolved in any substance. So a few common examples of acids are of tonsured acids are let's take CH3COH which is known as acetic acid CHOOH formic acid H2CO3 H3PO4 HCl, HF, HNO3, H2SO4. So there are a lot of examples of bronsted acids and a few examples of um, bases are NH3, also known as ammonia, C2, H5, NH2, known as ethylamine. Then we also have calcium hydroxide, etc. So, I'll demonstrate the acidic nature of bronsted acids by an equation after the reason this. Okay. So, take um, HCl for example. According to the bronsted lowry theory, if HCl is an acid, it will lose an H plus ion when dissolved in a solvent. So, let's suppose the solvent is H2O. Let's assume the solvent is water. So, we add HCl to water. So HCl plus H2O gives us water or gives us something. So HCl is an acid and because it is an acid, it donates an H plus ion. So it will lose this H plus ion. So if HCl loses this H plus ion, it will break into H plus and Cl minus. So this H plus will be accepted by H2O. So if H2O accepts H+, we will have three hydrogen um, atoms in total in the molecule. Oxygen atom will remain the same. And we just added a plus star. This was previously neutral. So this compound will become H3O+. HCl breaks into H+, and Cl-. The H+, part is accepted by H2O. And then H2O becomes H3O+. This is known as the hydronium ion. Hydronium. So if you want to write this equation, then this equation would look like H plus um, is donated to H2O. So H2O becomes H3O+. Plus and this breaks into H plus and Cl minus, so we have Cl minus left. So because H plus broke into HCl broke into H plus and Cl minus, it donated its H plus ion to H2O, hence HCl is an acid. Now let's look at another, at another example. Let's do HNO3. HNO3. Now when we add HNO3 to a solvent, let's take water. HNO3 is known as nitric acid and this substance is an acid. So according to the bronsted lowry theory, HNO3 is an acid because it loses, it donates H plus ions. And if it donates its H plus ions, then it first has to break into H plus and NO3 minus. So, off. so when it breaks into H plus and NO3 minus, H plus reacts with H2O to form H3O plus and we have NO3 minus which is left so here we get NO3 minus so HNO3 is an acid it breaks into H plus and NO3 minus the H plus part reacts with uh, um, water to form H3O plus and NO3 minus is left so an HNO3 acts like an acid 
another example of an acid is all um, oh, as example of a base form. so nh3 is also known as ammonia and it acts as a base so let's react this with water so base accepts s plus ions so this th thing here ammonia it wants s plus ions so what it'll do is it'll take one s plus ion from h2o so if it takes one s plus ion from h2o h plus plus ns3 we will have four h atoms so nh4 and because this was previously neutral and we added a charged um, ion to this this will become ns4 plus so h plus is donated by h2o to ns3 and by that we actually get nh4 plus and h2o is now left with only h o n h and because this was previously neutral and it lost its one positive charge it's now negative so we were left with oh minus so this is how ammonia acts as a base it accepts h plus ions and if we look at this reaction more closely h2o donated and a proton yeah h2o donated a proton so it acted as an acid in this reaction in this reaction h2o it received a proton it accepted a proton so it acted as a base so we can see that h2o acts as both an acid and a base since it accepts protons it accepts protons and it also donates protons so these substances are known as ampho amphiprotic yeah, amphiprotic let me erase this first substances which act as both a lewis acid or a bronsted brown, brown acid and a bronsted base are known as amphiprotic substances amphi protic protic stands for proton and h plus ion is just a proton because hydrogen contains one electron so if we lose if it loses this electron then it becomes h plus and now it only contains one proton it only has one proton so h plus is also referred to as a proton so amphiprotic substances we can donate proton by a proton i mean h plus and h plus is a proton since it only contains one proton so it's literally one proton donate a proton donate protons acting as bronsted acids bronsted acids yeah and they can also accept protons acting as bronsted bases so amphiprotic substances can donate protons and accept protons at the same not at the same time but yeah they can do that so now we will be discussing our uh, conjugate acid base pairs this is a lot of questions about them let's erase this so let's consider another acidic substance uh, let's do ch yeah let's do this chooh also known as formic ni formic acid so when this reacts with h2o because this is an acid we would get this will lose a proton so h h2o will gain this proton and we would get h3o plus plus because this lost an electron we have chooh minus left now this is a weak acid which means that this does not dissociate completely into h plus ions so now we, we will be discussing conjugate acid base pairs so chooh also known as formic acid is a weak is, is an acid so it loses h plus ions 
and the H plus ion it loses that ion reacts with H2O to form H3O plus and because this lost an H plus ion we will have to see HO minus known as the format ion and H plus so H plus reacted with H2O and CHO minus the state as it was so in this reaction this CHOH minus uh, CHOH it lost the proton so it acted as an acid H2O gained a proton so it acted as a base now in the backward reaction um, when we react H3O plus plus CHO minus we would get H2O and CHO minus CHOH now we can see that H3O plus this thing loses a proton it loses H plus it dissociates into H plus and H2O so this H plus then reacts with CHOH CHOO minus to form CHOH so here we can see that H2O acts as an acid and CHO minus acts as a base since it um, accepts the proton, accepts H plus. And in the previous reaction, CHOH, this thing, this was acting as an acid and this was acting as a base. That's true. So we have names for such such, such things. <laughs> CHOH and CHO minus are known as a conjugate acid base pair. Conjugate acid base pairs they differ by one proton. So just one, just a second. Yeah, CHO minus and CHOH are conjugate acid base pairs since they differ by one proton. And okay, the same logic applies with H2O and H3O plus. H2O gained one H plus ion from CHO, CHOH and formed H3O plus. H3O plus then loses this proton and then it forms H2O. So these two are also conjugate acid base pairs where H2O is the base. and H3O plus is its conjugate acid let's consider another example ok let's do HCl This gives us now H plus. We already know that HCl is an acid. This loses its H plus ion. It donates it to H2O. So HCl acts, acts as an acid. H2O receives um, the proton. It accepts the H plus ion, and so it acts as a base. H3O plus is formed when H2O gains a proton and H3O plus it loses its proton to form it loses its proton to form H2O so because it loses its proton it donates its proton it acts as an acid and Cl minus it gains this H plus ion which H3O plus lost to form HCl so because it gained it accepted as an H plus ion it acts as a base in this reaction, HCl and Cl- are conjugate acid base pairs where HCl is the acid and Cl- is the conjugate base. Or we can also say that Cl- is the base and HCl is the conjugate acid. H2O and H3O plus are again conjugate acid base pairs where H2O is the base and HCO plus is the conjugate acid. So let's practice a few questions now. Do. 
write an equation for the reaction between ammonia the formula for ammonia is NH3 and ethanoic acid formula for ethanoic acid is CH3COOH so they are asking us to write an equation for this reaction and we have to classify okay so we first have to write the reaction and then we have to classify each of these compounds as acids or bases and we have to also identify the acids and bases acid base pairs so pause the video to solve this question okay so one thing which I did not mention above is this whenever an acid reacts with the base usually the product is a salt salt plus H2O this is usually the product when the acid and a base when acid reacts with the base and salts for now for this level it's the definition of salt would be anything which contains an anion and cation I still forget the definition for now we don't need to know that okay so our acid here is CH3COH the base here is NH3 these two would react now how would they react okay so first we know that CH3 COH is an acid so this loses a proton so this dissociates into CO minus because this thing lost a proton and H plus NH3 is a base it wants to gain protons so this is our reaction now NH3 wants to gain protons so it will react with this H plus and we would get NH4 plus and CH3CO minus is left so this is what we get so to write this as one product We can write this as NH4 CH3 COO. Now we can see that there is no H2O here, and this usually happens when the base we're reacting with acid is ammonia. So when we react an acid with ammonia, sometimes we get H2O, or most of the times we don't. But you learn more about this in the further talk, in the further videos. So forget this for now. You don't need to know this. So CHCCOH is an acid. It dissociates into H plus ions and CHCCO minus ions. NH3 is a base, which means it wants to gain H plus ions. So it gains H plus ions and ion and becomes NH4 plus. And we have CHCCO minus left. These two. This is a cation, this is an ion, they attract each other and they form this salt called ammonium acetate. But you don't need to know that. Okay, so that's question two. Then we have question number three. Give the formula of, of the conjugate acid of each of the point. Okay. NH3 is conjugate acid. Now, acid means that that's up according to the Nostradari definition. An acid wants to lose H plus ions. So if this thing, this thing has a conjugate acid, then this must be a base. So what we'll do is, we know that NH3 is conjugate acid. It wants to lose protons. It's conjugate acid. If that wants to lose protons, then NH3 must be its conjugate base, right? If NH3 has a conjugate acid X, then NH3 is the conjugate base of X. So according to this, we can say that NH3 acts as a base, which means that its conjugate acid would be NH4 plus. So this is a part. 
as to be O oh, we have to tell them the conjugate base conjugate acid of OH minus. Okay. The conjugate acid of OH minus would want to lose protons. Which means that OH minus acts as a base. It wants to gain protons. So the conjugate acid of um, OH minus would be H2O. They got B part, part, part HSO4 minus. Okay. So this the conjugate acid of HSO4 minus. So the conjugate acid of HSO4 minus would want to lose protons. Which means that this thing wants to gain protons. Hence the conjugate acid is H2SO4. C part D part. C n minus. The conjugate acid of C n minus would want to lose protons and C n minus wants to gain protons. It's the conjugate base of that acid. So the conjugate acid would be HCN. HPO4 2 minus. This its conjugate acid would want to lose protons. So this would act as that acid's conjugate base. Hence it will gain protons and we would get H2PO4 minus because we added an H plus so 2 minus plus 1 would give us minus 1 so sorry minus 2 plus 1 would give us minus 1 so the charge is minus 1 here so these are the answers let's just check them once NH4 plus um, H2O, H2SO4, HCN, and H2PO4 minus. Okay. So we're done with this question. Now we'll attempt question number four. So pause the video to attempt these questions yourself. For the formula of the conjugate base okay so again the same logic will be applied here the conjugate base of HCO3 minus the conjugate base of HCO3 minus would want to gain protons which means that HCO3 minus wants to lose protons it acts as an acid so the conjugate base would be CO3 2 minus B part, the conjugate base of H2O. The conjugate base of H2O would want to gain protons, which means H2O wants to lose protons. So we would so its conjugate base would be OH minus. C part, conjugate base of HCOH. Yeah. The conjugate base of this. The conjugate base of this would want to gain proton so this would want to lose a proton so the conjugate base would be HCOO we can write this again HCOO minus B part NH3 the conjugate base of NH3 would want to gain a proton which means NH3 wants to lose a proton because NH3 yeah. So if the conjugate base of NH3 wants to gain a proton, then NH3 must act as an acid for that to happen. Which means that the conjugate acid of NH3 would be this. NH2 in minus. Let's check our answers. Ah, okay. CO3 2 minus HC CO3 2 minus OH minus HCO minus NH2 minus. Okay. Last question. Last question asks us to identify and conjugate acid base pairs. Yeah, we have to identify. Never mind, we have to state whether each species is acting as an acid or a base. Okay. So 
the first reaction is plus O4 minus I'll ignore the state symbols for now H2O okay so from HSO4 minus we're getting SO4 do minus so SF HSO4 minus lost one proton it lost an S plus ion which means that this acts as an acid H2O gained this proton to form H3O plus which means this is a base SO4 do minus reacts with H3O plus to give us HSO4 minus which means that this gains a proton because this gains a proton, this is a base. H3O plus lost a proton, which means it acts as an acid in the backward reaction. We lose a proton in the backward reaction. So this was A part. Let's do B. Let's CO3 minus. This gives us H2CO3. Plus SO4 to minus. Now HCO3 minus gives us H2CO3. Becomes H2CO3. So this can only happen when this thing gains a proton. And this will gain a proton. And this loses its proton. And by proton I mean H plus. So HSO4 will lose its proton acting as an acid. HCO3 minus would gain this proton acting as a base. In the backward reaction, H2CO3 gives us HCO3 minus, which means that it lost its H plus ion. Because it lost its H plus ion, it donates its H plus ion. This thing, this compound is a acid. SO4 2 minus gains the lost proton, so this acts as a base. Similarly, we can solve C part. So let's just check our answers. According to our answer, yes, it is No, it can be. Question was. Oh, sorry. The question was identify whether the species in bold is acting as an acid or base. So we only have to identify HSO4 minus HCO3 minus and CO3. Okay, yeah, okay. So HSO4 minus acting as an acid. Yeah, it's correct. HCO3 minus HCO3 minus acts as a base. Base, yeah, it's correct. So similarly, you can solve for C part yourself. Okay, thanks for watching.